Yes, yeah, sir. Big Stewie checking in. Trapping out the trap house. You know what's popping. I got Gatorlicious checking in. Uh-uh, That's what I'm going to call That's her new nickname. Little, little Gator-licious. baby Gatorlicious. I, I could rock with that. I could rock with that. I could rock with so that. So Big Gator. Yeah. Why Big Gator? Well, I had did like a little freestyle and I just was like, 2020, I ain't giving out no favors. My skin bulletproof nigga, I'm Big Gator. And then my fans just was calling me Gator. But before I accept it, I was like, do it fit me? And it does fit me because alligators are patient and I've been patient with my career since day one. And they be snapping. So what and else they is, be snapping. So what, else, what else is snapping with Lola besides I, her lyrics? My my height. Uh-huh. Your height snapping. My height is snapping. Okay. Like I know I'm a little four nine, but the heart is tall at six two. Okay. You feel me? Like you got I can't it. I, yeah, snapping. Like the pockets the pockets is about to start snapping. Okay. The they pockets, on the way. Them glasses yeah, they, shining. Yeah. Oh, oh, you don't know, play. I was checking, your, I was checking yours out. Don't I was checking yours it. out. Don't, don't play, play with, with it. it. Don't play with us. <laughs> so, so, so how was it growing up in Brooklyn, man? It was fun. Like, it let's, was go back fun. To, let's go back to Little Lola when you was little than what you are now. It was a movie, but of course, like when you outside, when you in Brooklyn, everybody is outside. And I'm from the star, so everybody chilling, they stoop. Mm. So whatever block you walking down on, you always have to look back at least. Like every sixty seconds or two minutes, is you, that you bad? Gotta keep, it's just like because it's so active out there. Mm. Like every, every corner, somebody is on every corner, walking, you, moving, moving. So you know, like when when girls walk down the uh, walk down the block and they see a group of guys and they like, oh, let me go cross the street. Mm. It's like you gonna go on one side of the street with them, but uh, like ten niggas, or you go on the other, other side, side with like twenty. <laughs> so you gonna have to pick you, which side. So you, you just died. You spent your whole life dodging. Just dodging for, but you know what? I ain't ducking no smoke. <laughs> I ain't ducking no smoke though. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm dodging though. Where does energy come from, man? <laughs> Five nine. You know what I'm saying? About, but we one fifty with the bags. Okay, one, with the jewelry one, on. One fifty soaking wet with the bags. Okay, you know. So where's all this big energy come from? I'm from Brooklyn. I can't help it. Like so it's every in woman me. like this from Brooklyn? Because you make me nervous a little bit sometimes. For real? Because we just so like, okay, all right. Atlanta, we be so chill no, and be so like we, we really nice. No, I like the other <laughs> you. I like the other you. You gotta be yourself. Nah, it's just it's just a Brooklyn thing. Like we just so it's like we excited to be here. So let's talk about family. Like moms and dads grew up with moms and pops? No, uh I grew up in a home, single parent with my mom. Okay. Not with my Brothers dad. And sisters? No siblings. By yourself, just you my, and mom do. That's why I'm rapping. Mm. I ain't nobody to talk to. <laughs> you so you ain't been, wait a minute. Don't let so you used to be one of them weird kids sitting in your room and just rap to yourself because you had no friends. What real talk? Who did you have a did you have a did you have a crowd? Did you have teddy bears up and stuff like that when you were performing? Oh wow, I did wow, that makes sense. I used to be like into stuffed animals and stuff like that on my bed and on my dresser and things like that. That's crazy. So how did so was your mom always supportive of you like doing music and stuff? Um, well, when she first found out that I was really taking it serious, left my job for, was she the reason I left my job for my career anyways? Where you was working at? I was working at a shelter. Okay. Um, I was a residential aide at a men's shelter in Queens, Jamaica, Queens. And basically what we did was cater to the clients, whatever they needed. We'd make sure they get a bed. We'd make sure they in before curfew, make sure they eat. You know, Wait a minute, so you being that little, you ain't scared of that type of job? And it's crazy because they don't discriminate um, at the hotel that I, I mean, it, it was, it's a shelter, but it, it, it looks like a whole, it's a hotel, but they turn it into a shelter. Mm. So yeah, I, they don't discriminate in there. It's all types of men in there that have a real tough past, mm. like real tough. So that never made you nervous though, because they always say like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. you're a female, at, you know what I'm saying? At first I was nervous, but... When I came in there, I, I treat them with respect, and I didn't make them feel like I was better than them. So a lot of men that was come on now, like uh, you, you know, a lot of men that was there resting their heads at the shelter, they made sure that I was straight. Okay, because I I made sure I gave them this respect that they deserve. Come on now, so okay, let's jump back to your mama. Your mama made you quit that job. Yeah, and she made she got me the job. Okay, and then she made you quit. She made me. And why well, she- I resigned. I resigned. <laughs> I ain't go- two weeks. I wanna- you did the right way. Yeah, I did it the right way. I I, I resigned, and I um. Put in my two week notice on mm-hmm. February the fourteenth on Valentine's Day. Wow! So word for the love of um music, right? And then after that, it was just like what? Come on! It, no, it took some time. It didn't. It, it, you know, I've been following on. you because Lil Kim was rocking with you too. Like, yes. how, how was that? It's unbelievable. Like that's Kim. 
Damn, she really was rocking with me, right? Yeah, I'm telling you. I've, I've been looking up, you're looking up your information. I done spoke to her on the phone. She's so sweet. She gifted me some flowers. She gave me a thank you card. Like, Kim, why are you giving me a thank you card? It's, I, I, it, no, thank you. Yeah. That's how I felt. But I just feel like it, I think that's dope for OG to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, right. You know what I'm saying? Somebody younger, to, you know what I'm saying? It's just that range to be like, I appreciate you. Like, right. Doing your thing. I felt accepted, especially into the industry as a female artist. And it's coming from another big dog female right. artist. Is like So how hard is it being a female artist in this industry as far as even with the respect? <laughs> Because you, you fine and you cute. So I know producers be trying to, you know what I'm saying, bust a move. But you know what's so crazy? I know how dudes are. Listen, I'm around my brothers so much. Mm -hmm. It's times people pull me to the side and they wanted to talk to me, but they didn't talk to me because I'm always around a bunch of guys. That's okay. my brothers. So I really, I they they help me out. I I They kind of protect me from the bullshit. Because you know what? Sure. I've been hearing horror stories. Like Yeah, I haven't bumped into that. Like, my brothers don't play. Okay. Like, if they see somebody nod their head to me a little bit, it's like, yo, what, what happened? What's up? What's, what's, up? what's up? What's going on? Okay. So, so don't talk to you. Don't talk to Fellas, me. Fellas, do you hear what I'm saying? Do not walk no, up on Big Gator. No, yeah, my brothers give the guys a hard time, for real. Like, they give them a hard time. Mm. So, so do you get a lot of like young guys that come up to you because you 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 you, you look petite? Yeah, they come up to me and I'd be like, please leave me alone and go to school. Right. So what's the what's the youngest? What's the youngest you? Do? What's the craziest thing a young cat that said? I want to know that. I mean, your beats. Um, like, do you remember? Does anything stand out? I know you say you be around your brothers all the time, so they don't. A lot of people be scared. To, yeah, it's so crazy. A lot of people be scared to approach me even when I'm by myself. So they would just say something like, hey, could I talk to you for Well, maybe because you come off a little aggressive on your music. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but then you got some <laughs> guys that come at me aggressive because they be thinking. Thinking that that's what you like. Yeah, they be like, yo, yo, what up, ma? Like, what's good? I be like, relax. <laughs> like, chill, down, bro. Chill, chill it's music. Out. Yeah. It's music. So look, so, okay. So what's the youngest, though? What's the youngest guy you'll talk to? I don't know because they always lie about their age. Mm. So I would really, I would, I would just assume, and they look at me like with a dumb face. Do you prefer older guys or younger guys? I, I've always messed with guys that was in my age, you know, my, like probably like a year younger, a year older, like that type of thing. Okay. No, I never really dealt with anybody. You, like you never was like the uh, get a sugar daddy. No, and then it was crazy because when I was younger, I had friends that tried to turn me out into that, and I was like, I'm not with that. Like, you're not, that, you're not talking to the hot sixty. Nah, no, nah, you ain't doing nah, the hot nah, sixty. Nah, I'm not like, nah, nah, <laughs> like, I'm already small. Like, like, I ain't like about to, yeah, I'm straight. So tell me about this single, man. Don't play with it. Tell me how that even just formatted and blew up like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, when I did, don't play with it. I, I just wanted to put out some music for the fans. I just wanted to stay consistent. And I put another female artist on there from Brooklyn, New York, and I just put it out. But for some reason, no, I didn't think that it was going to be blow as. Like that. Yeah, I didn't think that, but I knew it was still special. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be special to New York City. I right. didn't know it would go further than New York City. So I just kept promoting it because I was a big fan of Don't Play With It. Like, right. I, that was my favorite song that I that I had out. Right. And I would just, anywhere I go, I was just performing. Mm. So, so how was that like, you know what I'm saying, like putting that together? Like what was the city like, you know what I'm saying, two female artists in New York? That's bigger you to – because mm -hmm. sometimes girls don't like to work together, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's dope that you did a collab. But like, like how was that like as far as with the city? They was excited because, for one, I think the city was already bugging me and her about doing a song together for a So y'all didn't know each other like that? No, we just – Oh, knew of each okay. other, but we like. So it's really yeah. like an artist, artist. Yeah, let's that's do that's really how we built a, a relationship, like artist to artist. Like okay. really don't know each other like that, but artist to artist until we did the don't play with it, and then of course you know it get more personal, you know, because we have a song together. So right. I know a little bit more about you because we got to promote this song. Right? Is that rough? Like doing that? Like for not knowing somebody and not like, expecting the song to blow up like that? Because I know people still want to see y'all perform it together and stuff like that. How yeah. does that work with? But it's not, it's just the beginning. Okay. It didn't even, I don't even feel like it really started yet. Like, mm. it's, just, it's just the beginning. Like, I feel like we have more doors that's waiting to be open for us. So, right now, I have um, opportunities that I was um, invited to, mm -hmm. but I'm not in control right now. Right. I'm, I'm nowhere in control. But when I do have control, I make sure shit, shit happens. Right, for sure. Right. Bedside. Yeah. Don't play with you. Don't play with me. Not bedside, bedside. <laughs> so tell me about this bedside. 
Best song. Wait, that's where it come on. Tell me about it. I'm in your business. Best song. I mean, say it, it looks like bedside. Yo. I'm just saying. Yo. I'm from the country, so I just put it all together. Yo. Because, you know, some stuff be meaning other but, stuff, so I'm just yeah, trying yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, but I like that because I'm from the star, best star, and then best. Mm. Oh, okay, mm. okay, that was cute. I'm just trying to see. Best side is basically like, listen, I am all women, all women. I'm not perfect. Okay. But, yes, sometimes I might look like perfection. And when you catch my best side, you better catch the left side or the right side. Don't matter. Just make sure you catch the angles. Come on now. It's all, all about it. the angles. You it's had the angles the on angles. that one video you was bouncing around. That one dude had did that yeah, song. Yeah, big booty. Uh, jump way. And I got one more question. Yes. It was a lyric I wanted to explain. It Let's to go. Them, just so case they get, yeah. confused about it. It said, no, I ain't giving out no nanny for no nigga just for fun. I ain't giving out no nanny. Yeah, because who want to give out nanny for fun? Like, what the? No, that's not. When, when, it's not fun to do it? Or how? When do you do it? When you serious? See, this the thing. Oh, come on, you got to explain like, this to me. No, look, look. This is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing. It's like I'm not gonna be giving out no uchi for fun if it's no real. It's like, what, like, what are we doing? Like, is we like building on something? Come on, anything now. Anything like you, that? Like, you is just, we getting? You gave me a different. Well, I didn't know you was gonna say that. What you thought I was like, gonna say? I don't know. I be hearing some ratchet stuff now. No, like, like we ain't. Like, what the fuck? We just fucking for fun. You That's want, two Fs. You like, let's be or something. Fucking for fun. I ain't no failure. <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> Guess what? It ain't for fun, but she'll be with you, though. Yeah, Big Stewie's uh-huh. going down. Lola! <laughs> Brooke, Brooke! <laughs>